Assalamu alaikum, I am Farjana Taslim. Uh, today I am going to present my paper, which is titled as Depressive Bangla Text Detection from Social Media Posts Using Different Data Mining Technique. This is the outline of this presentation. M many people use their uh, Facebook or social media to communicate with their friends and uh, try to share their feelings. This has uh, helped the researcher to, uh, research, uh, to uh, research this post and uh, try to find out their mood and feelings from the post. And uh, this uh, depressive detection helped the psychologist to prevent undesirable doing resulted from depression. Actually, people, uh, all over the world, huge number of people committed suicide due to depression. In the in their region of Asia, people, Bengali people actually uh, uh, use Facebook rather than Twitter, and they uh, share their uh, um, uh, opinion or mood through the Facebook. Uh, this, uh, if a uh, people is in depression, then the uh, people connected to him will help him to motivate and uh, try to uh, counsel him. And another motivation is a, a, a survey said that at the time of depression, people share their uh, feelings and mood through Facebook, and this helped uh, us to uh, detect their detect depressive taste and actually work, work on the Bengali language. And there is an example of a, a depressive and non depressive taste. Our objective is to find out the depressive taste from the social media like Facebook and apply machine learning technique and uh, if that may reduce the uh, attempt of suicide and post depression crime and also create opportunity to help uh, to the health sector mm -hmm. there are, we are studying many uh, many many related work in the in this first word depression analysis from social media in bangla language using um, uh, long short term memory and RNN, they, are, they do not apply as a for removal, stemming this type of uh, important uh, pre-processing technique and that data set is very strong for deep learning. And they apply data stratification technique, but they do not maintain any standardization for data stratification technique. In the second related work, uh, depression detection from social media data using machine learning technique, they clean and normalize and filter uh, structure um, like uh, uh, with LIWC and training classifier. They are, uh, the filter extraction technique LIWC is uh, uh, is a consisting of a 15 factor attribute, but they use only 21 factor. Uh, they do not mention why they use only this 21 factor and their data set is very small for um, uh, deep learning technique and then the feature extraction technique LIWC is not available for all language is actually work for English language. In the third uh, word depression detection for Bangla social media post using machine learning technique, they, their data set is very small, only 1000 data. They, they, uh, they are collected data only from the uh, from, uh, people who committed suicide. So this word will not help the people who um, are in mid-level depression. In the fourth word, they do not uh, apply, uh, they do not uh, uh, punctuation remove and any other uh, technique or they do not apply feature extraction technique. That, that was also very small, which is connected also uh, 5, 588 data, which is very small for deep learning. In our work, we actually collected the data set where uh, 6,178 data, where 3,078 depressed data and 3,100 3, is non depressed data. We consider emoji as a word, and uh, we, at the time of data collection, we uh, collected the data for who committed suicide, and we collected the data of uh, post which mentioned as or text as killing depressed. At, that, uh, at some post, we are uh, being confused. Um, depressed or not that time we take in the opinion of 50 people of our friends and family and analyze or uh, otherwise analyze the conversation of that post to level it this is our methodology at first we collected the data sets and we process uh, apply some pre-processing techniques like stemming uh, as to body mobile tokenization uh, like that after that we apply features extraction technique tfid account vectorization word embedding then find the training and testing feature apply super um, uh, supervised machine learning technique and uh, find out the classification model and predict the class after that we evaluate the performance or compare the performance of different uh, machine learning algorithm. 
In preprocessing technique, the, the data set is very messy and noisy. At first, we remove the uh, punctuation, and there uh, is an example after removing the punctuation. And after that, we remove the English alphabet and remove English digit, and then uh, we apply tokenization. Tokenization find out each of the word from the uh, from the sentence. Then we remove the stop word. Stop word means stop word which do not bear any uh, any meaning to this sentence. After that, we apply a stemming. A stemming means uh, if you, at the time posting paper are not uh, careful about their spelling and uh, in, there there are some incomplete words. Uh, so uh, as you find out the root word from the main word that like Bangladesh main word uh, root word is Bangladesh for mm -hmm. root word is for Kuchi root word is for after that we um, if, uh, actually we have done our decision in two way one first one is we remove the emoji uh, from the text and then second one we did not remove remove the emoji because emoji contain more express uh, express more than a text after that we join all the word uh, from a corpus uh, feature extraction technique uh, apply higher current bacteria TFA idea for conversational machine learning or embedding for deep learning. In current bacteria technique, we at first create a vocabulary from the word in the all the sentence. Uh, after that, uh, every sentence um, represent with a vector. Uh, like amu uh, amar gechilo choto choto jibon dunia ta mara this is the vector uh, this is the vocabulary and uh, this sentence amar dunia ta onek choto there amar dunia ta choto onek choto this present so there is one and rest of the word is zero tfidf also a feature extraction technique it higher iif means term frequency idf means inverse document frequency it uh, also create a vector from a sentence uh, is uh, at the time of this it, it actually use this formula to create this vector what embedding uh, actually uh, represent a sentence uh, more semantic uh, than uh, uh, count by realization on tfidf it create a vocabulary which is 10,000 size and represent each of the word with a unique number. And uh, there we apply padding to represent, uh, to make all the sentence equal length. We apply different uh, combination of machine learning taking neighbors, SAP, aggressive, classified, decision data, and of course, neural network, logistic regression, KNN, and SBM for deep learning by direction of SDM and get a recurrent units. We apply 10 fold cross validation where R fold is the test and the rest of the fold are uh, ten. For model evaluation, we actually uh, use uh, accuracy precision recall F1 score. Uh, here, this is the result of our work where combination of machine learning and deep learning. Uh, we can see that with text plus emoji gives better result than with text. We know that emoji can express more than a text. Uh, and decision tree gives better result, uh, which is 97%, uh, and with text, which is 91%. And by directional LSTM, with text gives 93% accuracy, and with text plus emoji, it gives 94% accuracy. In terms of precision and default, decision tree gives better result, and by directional LSTM gives better result, and GRU also gives better result. And F1 is code decision tree gives better result, and by LSTM and GRU gives better result. This is the comparison with our work in the previous work. In the previous work, uh, in the first work, they use LSTM, RNN, and they don't apply any feature extraction technique. They work on Bangali, Bangla language, and they find 86% equity. In second work, they apply, uh, applied KNN, SBN, decision tree, and LIWC feature extraction technique on English language, and they find 73% equity. In four, uh, third work, they uh, applied SGDC logistic regression, and they apply TFIDF, uh, Unigraph, uh, and Unigraph, and uh, with Bangla, and they found 74% accuracy. In fourth word, they have a GRU, and none they have found uh, in on Bangla language and find 75% accuracy. In, in, in our proposed method, we apply decision tree neural network and by LSTM and GRU, and we applied a compound vector as a TFIDF and word embedding feature selection technique on Bangla language and find 97% accuracy with decision tree. Um, uh, conclusion actually, we collected the uh, data set from the social media course, apply both uh, conversational machine learning and deep learning technique. We find 97% accuracy with decision tree and 94% accuracy with bi directional LSTM.
uh, in the future we will try to increase the data set and uh, we will work with the, uh, we will try to find out the level of depression this is the reference thank you <laughs>